Hey boys and girls, welcome to another week of distance learning. Um, this week's bonus project could kind of flop, we'll see. I'm gonna show you how to paper marble. The reason is because Mother's Day is coming up and paper marbling makes some really cool paper that you could make some cards with or some flowers with to give to your mom for Mother's Day. Um, I'm also gonna show you, you might be able to marble on other things. So you're probably like, well, what is paper marbling? So paper marbling is where you put water in a container and traditionally you use some like different oils and different dyes and then you kind of move the color around and you put a piece of paper down on it and then you pull off that paint. So this is what a piece of marbled paper looks like. For our project, we're gonna use old nail polishes so I'm outside because I did this in my house when I tried this piece and then my house really smelled so like nail polish so I thought oh, it's pretty nice let's do this outside also it gets a little messy so some things you're gonna need you're gonna need some kind of like tin or container that you could throw away you're gonna need water paper and then just some old nail polishes that you might have all right oh one other thing you're gonna need some kind of stick to move around the color Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some nail polish and I'm just gonna kind of drizzle it in. Now be careful because you could get nail polish on your fingers. I'm gonna kind of do some drizzles this way. I'm gonna pick a different color too. I'm gonna pick this kind of teal color. Maybe I drizzle some this way. And then if you take like a stick or something, you can kind of barely touch it kind of pull it back I'm barely touching the water but you can see I'm making kind of a cool design I'm manipulating it around but if you press down into the water you're not going to be able to make a design so I'm going to take this stick and I'm just going to set it aside here keep in mind it has nail polish on it so that's why I'm using this old tin and I have this tablecloth I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm just going to carefully push it down into the water. I'm kind of moving it back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it up and it picked up that really cool design. So now I have a piece of paper that has a cool paper marbling on it. Now we can all, I'm gonna kind of take that little piece too that's still there. I added it and I'm gonna put this somewhere to dry and hopefully the wind doesn't blow it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you you can kind of marble other things. I have a plastic container, I have a rock, and I have a tin can. Let's see how this works out. I'm gonna take, eh, I think I liked that hot pink, so I'm gonna take some of that hot pink again. I'm gonna kind of drizzle it in there. And I'm gonna take some of that teal again. I really like the hot pink and teal. I'm gonna maybe go the opposite direction. And I'm gonna take my stick, and remember, I'm just going to barely touch the surface. I'm just kind of moving it around. A little bit that way, a little bit this way, a little bit that way. If it starts to pull up, then don't keep pushing down into it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this plastic container, and I'm gonna push it in, and I'm gonna roll it around. So now that design ended up on this old peanut butter container. I think I'm gonna do it one more time so I can get it on this side. Again, fingers are probably gonna get messy. You're probably going to need some nail polish remover. Again, you wanna do this with an adult or someone that is responsible at your house. Go in here again. I'm gonna kinda of manipulate that, just going back and forth a little bit. Not really touching it too much. I'm gonna take the side that didn't get done. And I'm gonna kind of roll it into there. Oh yeah, oh, I missed a little area there, let's see. Pull down there, I have a little area here. Pull down there, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it dry. And then I could give this to my mom, and take the top off, give it to my mom as like a cool vase for Mother's Day. Let's try some other things. Let's do something with a rock. So I got some fresh water. Put some of this nail polish in here. Let's 
let's maybe do, I guess we'll do that teal again. And I'm gonna take my stick, kind of manipulate that, kind of do it a nice swirl. Ooh, that turned out cool. Actually, I think it's under the rock. I'm gonna try this on the can. Let's see how it goes on here. Ooh, that turned out super cool on the can. Check that out. So this, again, could be something that you give your mom for Mother's Day. It could be like a pencil holder, or you could also use it as a vase. Let's do one more. Let's try the rock. I love this fluorescent pink. It is really cool. Just going to put some fluorescent pink. Now you could change your water every time um, our hose isn't on, so I didn't want to go back in the house and get fresh water, but maybe I should have. I'm going to take my stick. I'm going to kind of barely touch the surface. Manipulate that back and forth. Oh, it kind of pulled up there. Let's take this rock and see what it does. Oh, eh, I'm not so impressed with it on the rock. I wouldn't do the rock. I just got my fingers dirty. Yeah, rock's not working so good. Maybe don't try that. But you can see that it did kind of turn out really cool on these other containers. And it does turn out really nice on paper. Once you make these things, you could make a card with the paper. You could cut out flowers. You can go to town. Have fun. Let's do one more piece of paper. Um, I cut out some flower shapes. So I figured let's try that. Let's do some of that pink. Let's do some of that teal again. I thought that teal looked good. Now you don't always have to do two colors. You could just do one color too, and that would turn out pretty cool. And you don't even always have to manipulate it with a stick. You could kind of just let it swirl around in here. That's fine. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put this flower in it, kind of going back and forth. Oh, that turned out really cool. So I'm gonna set that aside. Let's see, I do have some extra nail polish in here still. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this other piece of paper, kind of soak it up a little bit, see what that comes up with. Oh yeah, that turned out really nice too. These would be great things to give to your mom for Mother's Day. You could also cut flowers out of papers that she made. Let's see, let's do one more. Let's try this purple that my girls had. Sometimes this kid nail polish isn't really the best nail polish. Like, I think if it sinks, that might be a bad sign. Let's see, let's try this one. And if it doesn't come out, that might be a bad sign too. Oh, there we go. I squeezed this. Let's take our stick, see if that does anything. Yeah, that purple. If this happens, then you're probably not gonna have a lot of success. I just pulled this out. Let's see, I don't know, maybe it dyed the water. I think I'm gonna throw a little more of this pink in. This time I think I'll just do one color. See if I can take my stick and manipulate it a little bit more to be a little more of an interesting design. Take another piece of paper, I'm gonna push it into the water. See what we got, ooh, that turned out cool too with just one color. So play around with this, but make sure that there is an adult with you. Make sure your surfaces are covered um, and have fun with it. Again, I'm gonna warn you, it is messy, it is smelly, you wanna do it outside, but you can definitely get some cool things with it. Hopefully you had fun paper marbling. Remember, it is very messy. You need a grown up with you if you're going to do it. You know what, it might even be a project that your grown up does just as something fun for them to do too. Uh, I will also post a couple other links on the slide deck for the bonus week of different ways you could paper marble like with shaving cream and food coloring. I just thought this was fun because I had some old nail polish um, and it really makes a cool tech, a cool pattern on things and you can do it on stuff other than paper. I ended up getting some plants and put them in this and so this is something nice that you could give as a Mother's Day gift. Um, 
I put some pencils and some pens and some scissors in here. So this is kind of a much cooler looking pencil holder for my house. Uh, I ended up also with one of my pieces of paper. I cut out a heart, folded the paper, cut it in half, and then I glued the heart onto a piece of paper and I made a Mother's Day card. So you could do a lot of different things with this paper. I hope you have fun. Remember, it's really messy. You probably want to do it outside and you definitely need an adult with you. I hope you have fun doing this and we'll see you next week. Bye!